Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Southern Soul Tarot. So today, I'm going to be doing a reading on the Donner Party. So basically, they were American pioneers that were migrating to California. So they left the Midwest uh, very late. They were supposed to leave by May 1st. That was the ideal date you know, considering the weather conditions they would be coming up on. This was in 1846 to 1847. So since they did end up leaving late, they ended up getting snowbound um, in the Sierra Nevada mountain range. So the, migra uh, the migrants had then kind of um, resorted to cannibalism to survive. They had been snowed in for quite a while. By uh, early uh, November 1846, the migrants reached the Sierra Nevada but became trapped by the snowfall at uh, Truckley Lake. So that is now known as Donner Lake. So this was very high in the mountains. Food became low into mid-December. They set out for food by foot. Relief did not come until February 1847. So four months later, about 81 to 87, they gave two different numbers, So, uh, but 81 was the most prevalent number I found. Members of the party survived and for, uh, uh, out of the 81 members of the party, 48 of them survived. So, and also out of that, out of the members of the party too, it did state that about more than half of them were 18 years old or younger, and at least six were infants. So, um, like I said, the only variation I got was whether it was 81 or 87 people completely on the trip, but 81 was the one I found the most of. So, and uh, the thing about that one too, with them being, uh, kind of resorting to cannibalism, was that they had thought it was interesting that within, from November to February, within such a short amount of time, that they had started resorting to cannibalism. But I think that they had thought, you know, a lot of people were passing away, and I think at the time they were passing away because of hypothermia, and I think a lot of them, of course, being hungry, you know, that was something that was starting to just instinctually take over. But I think a lot of them thought, you know, these people were passing away because of the hunger when in actuality it was because of hypothermia. So I think that being scared to pass away themselves is what kind of led some of them to go ahead and start um, the cannibalism process. But we are going to be using um, the Golden Tarot for as far as the migration started. So that'll be this one. And then we will be using the Edgar Allan Poe for as far as when they got snowed in and whenever the cannibalism started and the issue started. And we'll be using some other oracle decks. So we're gonna put this one off to the side for now. We're gonna start with this one. And we're gonna ask for any of the uh, spirits that are involved from the Donner Party, if they could come in with their spirit guide, archangels, source, and anyone else that can give us some clarity as to what happened during the Donner Party. This. And this was again from 1846 to 1847. They got snowed in around November of 1846. Uh, finally, they had been kind of somewhat found towards the end of February 1847. So we're going to shuffle one more time. And go ahead and get started. Again, I'm going to ask them to come in with their spirit guides and kind of let us know what it was like whenever they were uh, on this trip leading up to it, right before they got snowed in. How are they feeling as a collective? If they could let us know how they were feeling as a collective right before they got snowed in and the weather started getting bad. Can they tell us how they were thinking? So, King of Cups. So, this is traveling. Now, uh, this is going to be Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So they were traveling in this instance. You do see a, a boat here traveling in the background. But I think they were traveling for to get emotional abundance in a new place. So they were trying to move into a new, uh, migrate to a new area to have more of an emotional and material abundance. But it would help them emotionally in their mind to feel a lot better by making this trip. So let's see whenever they got snowed in and it started, they had to start kind of start resorting to cannibalism. How they felt about that. How did y'all feel when y'all had to resort to cannibalism? How did y'all feel when cannibalism was resorted to? The page of coins. So the page of coins is showing that something in the earthly realm. Now this does have to do with health. Uh, pinnacles do sometimes, and it also has to do with material things. So in the earthly realm, when they resorted to this, this was something that was new to them. Page. The page is usually going to be a new energy. So it is something that they, uh, you know, and they would, the, the coin that they're offering could be, the other individuals that they uh it could be the first person that they said hey you know we don't have any food so let's kind of go ahead and try this and see what happens you know what i mean so that's kind of what it's kind of looking like somebody one of the individuals offered up the idea whenever 
they were starting to get hungry and had no other options. So how do they feel about it now? How do y'all feel about the daughter party now in the sense of how it happened, how everything is explained these days, and how y'all feel individually about it or collectively as a group? How do y'all feel collectively as a group? How the story and situation is portrayed? How do y'all feel collectively as a group how y'all's story is portrayed? Alright, so the Seven of Coins in reverse. So they do feel that um, material-wise that it sounds like, you know, the worst thing, and this was the worst case scenario, really, when you look at it, they were all trapped. They had to resort to cannibalism. But um, I think that they also feel like maybe people thought they wanted to and that they spoiled this on their own and it was maybe something that, you know, they were going to do anyways or, you know, they just were careless about it. But it, I don't think, you know, that they were. They really felt that they were going to possibly pass away if they were, didn't get food. So that is a what their mind frame was so but that is not how other people look at it so therefore they feel as if they had spoiled something in the earthly realm or other people feel they had spoiled something in the earthly realm but they are looking at these pentacles like well we didn't have any food we had nothing so what were we supposed to do so with the king of cups here they were looking for more of an emotional fulfillment on this trip and migrating somewhere else so why is the king of cups here for the migration Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is showing it. yes, this is something that they did communicate probably as a group. A lot of people were migrating different groups at that time. So they're saying that they did kind of, uh, you know, communicate with somebody that this migration was going to happen. This could also be the person warning them if they did not leave in time that they were going to get snowed in. That would be a very important uh, ounce of information being relayed that was kind of ignored that they did kind of think was like um and maybe they didn't ignore it purposely but it it got it you know they ended up leaving later and it did cause an issue so let's go ahead and see with the page of swords what else uh, as far as before they got snowed in how they feel about the king of cups and the page of swords what else would you like to say about, about you know leading up to when y'all got snowed in and how to resort to cannibalism is there anything else that y'all would like us to know The Page of Cups. So, yeah, they realize here they were given the information to go ahead and leave early. They did not do so. So emotionally, what started out as the King of Cups journey, to go ahead and start out on a journey that would emotionally fulfill them, ended up very prematurely done, Page of Cups in reverse, and it was not emotionally fulfilling for them. It ended up being something that ended a lot of their lives. Again, there was at least 81 uh, people on this trip and only about 48 survived so now whenever the page of coins is here this is whenever they started to resort to cannibalism so let's find out what the page of coins why is the page of coins here for whenever y'all resorted to cannibalism could you please show me why the page of swords is here for whenever y'all had to resort to cannibalism how y'all felt about it they did not agree with it so um again this is something i do feel like they felt they had to do to live um now, I think, again, you have to think about being um, somewhere where a lot of people were getting hypothermia, passing away, didn't have food. Um, water was about the only thing that they did have access to, being that there was snow around, things like that. Uh, but as far as food, they had nothing. So with the Hierophant in reverse, this was not traditional. This is not how, um, you know, Source would have wanted it or whatever, you know, God you look up to would not believe that this is tradition or how it should be handled. So they did realize that, that it went against their beliefs and their tradition. But with the ace of wands they felt that the movement had to happen so this is whenever they would have went off on foot and started moving um and that was in let's see mid-december they had set out so soon after they started getting around to the area of, of having to go ahead and start cannibalizing and doing the things to get food that's when they were starting making the movements too so that as they were doing that, they were still trying to move and get and get rescued so they could get food and get out of the situation. So with the seven of coins here, you do feel as if people think that, you know, that this was done maybe not so much on purpose, but carelessness. What else would you like people to know with the seven of coins about the situation and how y'all feel about it collectively? How do y'all feel about the situation collectively? I can see that y'all realize that it's spoiled and it wasn't planned out the way it should have been or organized. So that's what they're saying. Better organization would have helped. That is why, that's another thing they're looking back on. They were told that they should have left by May 1st. 
so over here and they did not do that so they got snowed in which will put them in the situation they were in so they're saying they can see to the from the outside how it looks like they spoiled their coins but they are saying that they should have worked better and they should have kind of left on that may first date so that they wouldn't have gotten stuck so they are acknowledging that there should have been better planning with material things and their lives and their health because that's all what pinnacles represent so that's why i think of a lot of the last row is going to be pinnacles here so let's go ahead and see why the uh, seven of pinnacles in reverse and the three of pinnacles is here upright for how they feel people view them and what they would like people to know about the situation ace of coins so yes they are saying that they did have a big loss here in the ace of coins and um, they did lose a big chunk of their group as it was 81 people only about 40 uh what did it say 48 survived um a lot again a lot of them were under the age of 18 a lot of them were children babies uh things like that so they are saying that a lot of things were lost within the earthly realm money abundance health lives everything so they are acknowledging that so we'll go ahead and pull out um a few more cards but they're going to pull out the edgar Allan poe see what we get with that I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope y'all are enjoying it. If y'all have not yet subscribed to the Southern Soul Tarot fam, we would greatly appreciate it, and we would love to have you as a part of the family. If you click that subscribe bar and the notification bell, it will let you know whenever I do readings in the future, lives, and then just upload anything else like unboxings, things like that. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Egg Allen Poe, and we're going to clarify the King of Cups. So why is the King of Cups here for how y'all felt when y'all set out? on this journey before y'all got snowed in. They did uh, kind of realize that they got a late start here. This is going to be more of a realization and them confirming kind of what happened. So they are saying that this is something that they kind of started out to have a good emotional fulfillment, but it did not go right with the star. So it ended up being a spoiling of the situation and of life because the star gives you life. Water gives you life. So over here, it's in reverse. So it is very much showing. You can see the reflection of life and it pouring it out. So they are saying by them being late, um, it did have an effect on the group in a whole. And it did not make the situation go the way it was supposed to. With the Page of Swords here, is there anything else that you would like us to know about the Page of Swords? The world. So I think this is just more clarification, kind of. If they would have listened to the advice that they would have probably gotten there in time and not been snowed in and wouldn't have had this page of cups moment in reverse. So again, they are clarifying that they did not plan and organize like they should have. And that is something they wish they would have done more time on. So why is the page of cups here in reverse? Is there anything that you would like us to know again before y'all actually got snowed in and began to have the cannibalism process? The seven of swords in reverse. So this is about the time that they were getting ready to get snowed in and they were realizing that they were going to be stuck here. Now, I feel like it's the Seven of Swords in reverse because it's not like they were really lied to, manipulated, uh, stolen from or cheated from. So it's like, even though they probably felt that way in the moment, they felt like, you know, somebody could help them or somebody should have gave them better advice. They were given that advice and they, they are acknowledging it. So they kind of put themselves... Um, into the page of cups but again they are taking the seven of swords and they are reversing it they are saying nobody did anything to put us in this situation we did kind of wait too long we didn't take the communication and advice that was given to us so it, we ended up getting snowed in and that's what happened so with the page of coins can you please show me why the page of coins is here and what they would like us to know about whenever y'all started the cannibalism process from being snowed in is there anything that you would like us to know so it's going to be the Three of Cups. So with the Three of Cups, it's almost like they are saying with this coming in, they did feel like at first, you know, this journey was going to make them celebrate this individually, but very soon it flipped around when they were not able to come out of the snowstorm. They might have even looking at, uh, looked at it like it might not have stayed in that weather condition very long and they could, were going to be able to kind of get back on the road very soon and kind of celebrate that movement but that didn't happen with the Hierophant the Hierophant you know they ended up getting snowed in a lot longer and that is when they had to resort to the cannibalism and that is when it started spoiling the rest of the process so let's kind of go ahead and see what the Hierophant um he is looking at the three of cups and it is not happening they are not getting out of the situation so they have started the cannibalism is there anything that the Hierophant would like us to know about how he feels about the cannibalism 
temperance in reverse. So temperance in reverse is going to be an imbalance between fire and water, emotions and actions. So he is saying that, yes, there was an imbalance between their actions and their emotions. Um, and they did make them go into the Ace of Wands. They did make actions, big actions, as far as cannibalism that they probably would never have done otherwise. Now, while some of them were still trying to get, you know, on their foot, on foot, going out, trying to find people to help rescue them and more food, some of them did not return. So that is why I'm... Um, all of this has pretty much spoiled towards the end. But they're saying that, yes, there wasn't. He is saying there wasn't an imbalance of the elements around them. So that is why their behavior was out of balance at the time. So he understands why they did it. It's just not something he would have approved of, you know, that naturally is approved of cannibalism. But in the situation they were in, he is saying balance was out of order. So it's almost like they had no choice. Um, with the Ace of Wands, sorry, the card fell down. With the Ace of Wands over here, for them going out on foot, you do have the Seven of Wands. So this is when things were kind of getting tense. So uh, this would probably be a lot of the individuals wondering who was next, like which direction it was going to come from. Um, that could be something that was going to happen there. So, But it is showing a bit of attention and being on edge. So and that's something that started whenever they were going to, they were getting hungry and they started the cannibalism process and the traveling looking for food. So it is saying that few people were traveling, movement, making uh, the movement with the wands, but other people were making movement towards each other as far as the cannibalism, so they were kind of watching their backs, the ones that were still there waiting. So with the seven of coins, is there anything that you would like us to know about that, where y'all are now, and what y'all want us to know? The Hierophant. So where they are now, even though the Hierophant is saying, yes, this was a situation I did not approve of, he, they are saying where they are, that um, and they have passed, so it is very much, you know, replicating where you know their situation they have passed they are on the other side but they're saying that the Hierophant um approves of the situation or approved them to come in from whereas most people would not be it would not be acceptable cannibalism it's like i said again they really didn't have i don't want to say much of a choice but really no they did you know they said they got very scared they weren't very sure of what was going on they didn't know when they were going to be saved. They didn't know how long they had before they would die from starvation and things like that. So I'm sure a lot of it was uh, just, you know, from the hypothermia, not thinking straight, not having enough food, not having enough water, just not having enough of anything. So um, they're saying, yes, these all these pinnacles spoiled, you know, everything didn't work out the way it should. But they are in a happier place now with the hair fit. So with the three of coins... They saying they could have worked together to move uh, to not have this happen. That is something they could have done. So with that, we want to see what else they want to show us. They are saying because they did not work together that the Ace of Cups was dumped out on them. So that they did have a, a difficult situation and it was very emotional. But where they are now, they are working on the Ace of Coins and kind of flipping that energy back around. So let's see what the Ace of Coins in reverse is. there anything that y'all would like us to know about that? And why y'all feel the Ace of Coins? Why do y'all feel the Ace of Coins where you are now in reverse? Because they're working hard to kind of... As I said, I think that they still work hard to move past what happened in general. The death cycle is here. So that is exactly what happened to most of them. More than half of them passed. Um... And again, there's pinnacles. So this is, again, going to represent health, things in the earthly realm. Probably some of their lives alone, too. Just how long, you know, and how hard they work or how hard they're working now to move past that energy and what happened to them during their death or, you know, the whole time that they were stuck in. I want to say it was a cabin area. But we're going to just do a couple oracle cards real quick. So we're going to do the angel whispers. Let's see if there's anything out of that that they'd like to give us. Like attracts like, so think only positive thoughts. I just feel like that's just a collective message and what they were doing whenever they were getting ready to travel. They were, you know, trying to act as the same as a group, everybody being positive and having positive thoughts, positive things that happened. How did y'all feel when y'all were trapped? Is there anything y'all would like us to know about that? You are in control of your own destiny. 
So I think that's what they're saying. They had the choice to do it or not do it. But it says, do not live in the past. So that is going to be their message for the last one. Do not live in the past. Look forward to the future and rejoice in the journey ahead. So they are not staying stuck in this past energy. Like I said, they have worked very hard with the Eight of Pentacles to move past what happened during the cycle of their deaths because it was so many of them that passed. So they are saying, do not live in the past. Move forward with the journey ahead. And they did happen to use the word journey and they were uh, traveling. They were pioneers. So that is something they were doing. So we will get one more card. We are going to get one of the shocker cards. To see if there's anything they can show us about that too that might have affected why they did what they did or how they felt the third eye chakra so that's where i think most of them are probably starting to kind of like we're starting to kind of connect more to source in the higher up levels because they were in a situation where they were feeling like they were possibly going to pass so a lot of them were probably making deeper connections to higher level beings so that they could feel more comfortable being that I think some of them knew this was a really bad situation that they weren't going to get out of. So that is going to be the rating for the Donner Party. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, again, if y'all have uh, not, not yet hit the subscribe bar and uh, this is y'all's first time here and y'all enjoyed the reading, I would greatly appreciate it if y'all would hit that subscribe bar notification bell. It will let you know whenever I do videos in the future. And then, um, just want to thank y'all again for clicking on the video. So y'all have a good one and I'll talk to you soon.